What is up YouTube? My name is Sugary Donut and welcome to Bubblegum Cute. So today I have for you July's Glossy Box. I think I might have accidentally labeled last month's Glossy Box as July's Glossy Box just because I waited until like forever to do it. My bad. This is actually July's Glossy Box and I'm gonna go back and correct that. So if you're like, what are you talking about? I corrected that. So yes, let's get started. I am super excited. And again, I love this box. It's just so pretty. I feel bad throwing them out because they are just so nice. So I actually have my microphone resting on the one from last month because I'm going to put something in it. I just don't know what yet. So let's get started. And of course, the little info sheet that tells you how much the whole box is worth and what's inside. So let's go ahead and last time I just kind of randomly went through it and it probably wasn't that informative. So this month I am going to go down the list and explain everything. So the first thing in here, this is huge. Oh my gosh. Kueshi anti-cellulite booster. So let's see what this has to say about this. Enriched with flavonoids from astragalus root that inhibit the formation of fat cells, this body smoother combats existing cellulite and prevents its formation. It's Sorry, I got an email on the phone. Other ingredients include extract from butcher's broom to facilitate blood flow, lemon peel, and goldenrod flower to reduce swelling. I have a little typo here, look at this. I guess you can't see it. Reduce, reduce. So the full size of this is 5.07 fluid ounces and is $22.60. And again, the box was $21. So this alone was worth the whole box. <laughs> so this is something I definitely would not have bought on my own. I'm not really that concerned with cellulite. I kind of think it's ridiculous how everybody expects you, or at least how it, the perception is that everybody expects you not to have cellulite. Ladies, do not worry about your cellulite. It is something that just happens to all women, and I mean all women. I am, look at how skinny I am little twig arms. My legs are a little bit bigger because I have been eating the candy at work, but I'm still really skinny and I have cellulite and it does kind of bother me, but I know that's only because the media has this kind of anti-cellulite campaign. Sorry about the little rant there, but I guess I'll try to use it. I mean, it's not like it necessarily will hurt me and it's it's really big this is like probably full size so i'm definitely going to use it and see if it works so the next thing we have in here is cargo cheek color in coronado water resistant blush i'm wearing really really light pink blush right now because i'm so pale so let's actually look at the color before i read the description kind of peachy might be a little dark for me personally but I will still try it out so what do we have both sweat proof and waterproof the sheer powder is buildable for a customized look silicone coated pigments provide better adhesion to the skin with L lysine an amino acid found naturally in the skin help increase the blushes long wearing and water resistant properties so this thing's full size is 0.31 ounces and worth $26. So this also is worth more than the box. What the heck? Although I don't think this is three point. Yeah, this is 1.14 ounces. But still, I'll try to use it. I'll see. I'm sorry, I need a light behind the camera. My lights are both just to the side of the camera. I will see how this looks on my face. And it did say sheer and buildable so my guess is it won't look that bad um but again super pale skin and anything darker than light pink just really don't mix so the next thing i see i'm super excited for i am always losing my lip balm this is 
Naked Lips Peppermint 99% Organic 100% Natural Lip Balm. Open this up. Definitely peppermint. I'm not really wearing any lip color, which is why I just went ahead and boop. It feels really good. Hopefully I don't lose this one because I really like it and I'm tired of losing lip balm and I essentially got this for free. Full size is $5.50. This is obviously the full size. Most lip balms are this size, so. Featuring a nutritive blend of antioxidant-rich oils from some of the world's most powerful fruits and berries, this creamy balm is not only ultra-protective of the delicate lip area, but it is also a sweet treat. So my camera got too hot and shut itself off, and I don't really remember exactly where I left off because that was like five minutes ago. But I'm going to... I also don't know exactly when it died, so I'm just going to go ahead and reread. Maybe try to edit, so just bear with me. Go on, lick your lips. It's good for you. That's good to know because I'm always licking my lips because they're just so, so dry. They're always chapped. I don't drink enough water and then I have bad allergies so I take antihistamines and get even more dehydrated. So this is going to be a lifesaver for my lips. because Like I said before, I'm always losing my lip balm. And there's one more thing in here. Oh, two more things in here. And this one I know I'm going to use because I love peels. It is the Hey Honey I Peel Good Lip Peel. Move my lamp down here. That's too bright. Sorry. So what does this thing say about Hey Honey? Hey Honey I Peel Good. Promising to improve skin's elasticity and texture after even a single application, this innovative treatment provides a trio of benefits, including hydration, exfoliation, and protection. Another perk? This cream also reduces stretch marks and leaves behind a natural lipid barrier to protect skin. I don't really have any stretch marks on my face, which is probably where I'm going to use it. I have some around like my hip area, but again, beauty standards, who needs them? So I'm probably just going to use this on my face because my face does, even though it's kind of hypocritical, but whatever. I really do not like all the extra like marks I have on my face. I just don't like them. So the full size of this is $59 for one ounce. This is half an ounce, so this alone is, according to this thing, worth $30. What is with how much this box is worth? I cannot even. So next item is a lip liner. I'm not even gonna bother moving my camera for you guys to see this. This one looks brown. Um, colors will vary. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Because last time they had the nail polish, that color varied. So Face Stockholm, ooh, that's an interesting brand name. I'm gonna look them up. Um, boasting a soft, smooth formula enriched with vitamin C, fruit-derived wax, and vitamin E, all wonderful things you cannot get enough of in your beauty products or diet, except for the wax from fruit, but you need fruit. So anyway, this luxurious, super feminine liner glides onto lips with ease and precision to shape and define. So I'm going to try just a little tiny bit and see how it looks and feels first and foremost. So bear with me here. So I don't think I have any lip color that matches this. I also can't really see it too well because I don't have a backlight behind me and I'm pretty far away from my camera so I can't really see that well. It did feel that could just be the lip balm but it did feel very nice and smooth and it did glide like it said. So I'll definitely check out their website and see or at least face Stockholm's website and see what other colors of lip liner they have because I normally don't like lip liner because I only use cheap lip liner because I don't wear that much lip stuff so I can't really justify buying a whole lot of lip liner. But I'm going to check this out and see if they have anything that matches any lip color that I have because this did feel great. And as far as I can tell, 
this color looks pretty good. So that concludes July's glossy box. Again, I love everything in here. The anti-cellulite booster could have gone with more hair products. I really need something to make my hair not so fried since I dyed it. But if you personally don't like cellulite on yourself, that is totally cool if you want to remove it and this is a full size thing. So I'm super excited for all of you. And again, I'm skinny so my cellulite isn't necessarily as bad as somebody who may be bigger and I can totally understand. Like I said, I want to get rid of some of the stuff on my face. So we all have our own issues and we're all totally valid in wanting to work on them and correct them. So I hope you liked this month's glossy box. Thank you so much for hanging around with me. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment below as to what your favorite item was or if you have any questions about the items. I'm going to be using them all today except for the lip liner, again, because I don't have a color for it. But I'm going to use this tonight, the, the honey, Hey Honey Peel I'm going to use tonight. I do like this. The blush I'm not going to use because I already have blush on. But I am going to be using these tonight, so message me. I am going to be using these two tonight, so definitely leave a comment below if you have questions about how they turned out, and I'll let you know. And until next time, I will see ya!